A lot of garage doors are not secure once an electronic door opener has been installed like this. Normally a garage door will have two latches on the end, low down to the ground and they will prevent the door from being opened from the outside. But once an electronic door opener is installed, a lot of times they are actually disabled so they no longer work. You can get some door bolts that shoot out of the door from the side but you actually need to get out of your vehicle and put a key in to actually do that which defeats the purpose of having an electric door opener. So I have made these locking bolts for each side of the garage door. These work off a 12 volt linear actuator. These actually slide a bolt into position that once the bolt is in position it is then impossible to open the door. And I'll give you a demonstration of just how the bolts work. I'll start off by retracting the bolt. You will notice that there is a blue light flashing behind me. That means that both limit switches have been made and that has energised a solid state relay which has switched on the garage door opener. Now when I press the garage door remote it will open the door. So I can now press the garage remote again to close the door. Once the door is fully closed, I can then lock the actual deadlocks in place again using the remote key fob. This is the remote control key fob. It has an A and a B on it. The motors that I've used in the linear actuators are actually 12 volt DC. So if you reverse polarity, it reverses direction of the motor. So pressing it, A energizes it one way, B reverses the polarity and makes it go the opposite way. So that's a 12 volt linear actuator. That has about a 50 millimeter stroke on it, which moves that shoot bolt in and out. The shoot bolt is actually made from an old hydraulic cylinder. So that is a steel shaft that has been chrome plated. There we have an 8mm thick steel plate and to that a welded piece of stainless steel pipe. The steel shaft is a good fit inside of the steel pipe so that slides in and out of there nicely. At the back there we have a limit switch which prevents the door from being opened when the linear actuator is in the extended position. So now we track the cylinder at this side and you can see exactly what happens. It drives back and it's the limit switch. This side is slightly different to the other side. We have a longer linear actuator that gives us slightly more movement and a longer shoot bolt at the bottom. Again that is made from a scrap hydraulic cylinder so that is 20mm steel bar that is chrome plated. Again we have the aluminium that I've profiled and drilled an hole in the centre of and at the back there we have the limit switch. And you can see that I've actually added a piece of clear perspex to the front just to protect it. This is the actual control box that controls the actuators. Basically these are just connectors connecting all the wires together. That is the remote control relay board with the two relays on it. That is a solid state relay that works the actual limit switches. Once both limit switches are made that then energises the solid state relay which then switches on the actual garage door opener. And at the top there we have got the 12 volt power supply.